a tool that's used to reduce oxidative stress. Specifically, it's going to boost levels of glutathione and boost levels of dopamine. It's going to replenish those amounts. And where it really comes in neat as a nootropic is its ability to help you fight fatigue and just concentrate on a task for a longer period of time. For myself, what really intrigued me about the specific nootropic is that it is a common ingredient in most pre-workout products these days. I'm somebody that is naturally lazy when it comes to fitness and going to the gym. Therefore, I take a pre-workout pretty much every time. And if you're unfamiliar with it, a pre-workout supplement has caffeine, L-tyrosine, which allow you to have a better workout to put out more reps and have an improved aerobic capacity. And I'm beginning to see N-acetyl-L-cysteine being a very popular ingredient amongst the other ones. This was one of the reasons why I decided to try it again, as I did a cycle a few years ago and it was not effective. I didn't notice anything whatsoever. However, it was because I dosed it incorrectly. Now that I've dosed it around 500 milligrams twice per day, I'm seeing all the benefits for improved concentration, improved mood. It almost fights depression to some extent. A reduction of addictive behaviors. I'm somebody that unfortunately bites my nails or I like to pick my skin. And just that tendency, that bad habit, it actually almost seems to be really nicely mitigated with the effects of acetyl L-cysteine. And things like this are not unheard of. Um, I do a lot of reading on the uh, Reddit community for nootropics. And what so is people are really often reporting their experiences with how N-acetyl L-cysteine has changed their life for the better. It stopped people from smoking, it stopped people from having bad habits like watching too much TV or just essentially being unproductive. And hey, if something's gonna change your personality for the better without side effects, then it's definitely worth taking a shot. This is, I mean, it's an amino acid. It's not something as strong as modafinil or phenylparacetam or armodafinil. What's really fascinating about this nootropic is that people seem to all use it for a different type of purpose. There's things that can help you with concentration. There's things that can help you with your mood. This is even reported to help people with skin health and reduce acne. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of research behind its nootropics effects in terms of cognition. So helping people to support their long-term memory, their short-term memory, their ability to solve complex problems, but really it's just a matter of time. Um, one of the main indicators that I personally know that N-acetyl L-cysteine is working is, is that I'm much less irritable. For most of you nootropic users, you can tell that although some nootropics may be working, they could just really crank up your levels of irritability and you'll find yourself just getting a temper tantrum or just something elicits an emotional response that typically wouldn't. And with the help of N-acetyl L-cysteine, you're just really in control of your emotions. It's almost like you're somewhat living in like that Zen meditative state. So I would recommend you check it out because it could do some really funny things. One of the great resources for nootropics is examine.com. As you can see that it nicely summarizes all the studies and what a particular nootropic can do for you. And what's so is if you just scroll through and look at the benefits, it improves your antioxidant enzyme profile. It can do some good things in terms of gut bacteria. Helps with the addiction of things like nicotine. Again, we talked about decrease of acne. And it's just a matter of time before there's more studies done on this. Whether you're a student, you're an entrepreneur, you're a project manager, or maybe even like a salesperson, N-acetyl L-cysteine is definitely worth trying and checking out. It'll just allow you to accomplish your goals quicker and just to enjoy the process. Unfortunately, I made the mistake of underdosing it. The first cycle which I took it for, which I did make a video on on my other channel, I was underdosing it, which was why I didn't feel anything from it. But now it's such that it's a staple in my stack. I'm pretty much taking it at least five times per week. Uh, my preferred dosage is 400 to 500 milligrams twice per day, once maybe in the early afternoon, and then once in the late afternoon, early evening. Uh, with nootropics, unfortunately, you just have to find out what's best for you. When it comes to adaptogens, so things like ashwagandha, bacopa, rhodiola, they pretty much work the same with everyone, but when it comes to things that can enhance your focus naturally, like paracetam, aniracetam, pramiracetam, oxyracetam, nupept, NSI-189, and so forth, they just seem to work differently for different people. One person may feel a little bit more focus, a little bit more energy, but another person may unfortunately experience brain fog. And if you were to ask me what some of the side effects are, the only thing which comes to mind is that you really have to know what dose works with you. This is one of those supplements where you have to be accurate with it. You have to find that sweet spot because what's so is with this nootropic, if you underdose it, you feel a little bit off. And if you overdose it, then you just feel off as well. So you're just best finding that sweet spot and staying in that range to some extent. If you're taking the powder form, then be sure to find a milligram scale. I'll try to find a link for you for a nice purchase of a milligram scale in the description box. I'll as well link this product here if I can find it. 
Really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe. Uh, click the bell. It really does support my channel. Make sure to click like or dislike. I don't mind. And leave a comment. I really, really appreciate your feedback. And I try to respond to everybody within 24 hours or so. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.